Hey folks, how's it going? This is Bill with Hangar Rads. I'm in the town of Ballinger, Texas. You're probably wondering, what the heck are you doing in Ballinger, Texas? And where is Ballinger, Texas? It's kind of in Central West Texas. We're going to go see where our building's getting built. So, hang on, this should be a good one. Okay, first things first, we stopped in our local Mueller Center, which is just on the west side of Fort Worth. We were able to get in there and talk with our sales representative, Charlie, who, while we kind of made his head spin, he was able to put everything together, get our concept drawings, along with his architectural team, design team down in Ballinger, to get us a building that would work for us. Hey folks, we are coming into the town of Ballinger, Texas. We're gonna go check out Mueller Buildings. Those are the folks that are building our building for us. So come along. This should be a pretty interesting uh, deal to see how a hangar or shop it gets built, all the little piece parts. So hang on, here we go. Well, it's about possibly getting a tour of the facility and the president of Mueller was gracious enough to allow us to come on down and take a check out of the uh, facility. So we took him up on the offer and drove about three hours southwest Texas. It's about uh, uh, down toward San Angelo Way, but a uh, beautiful little place out in the country. Very nice facility, so here we go. Hey, we're going to go see how our shop is getting built. So we're in Ballinger, Texas at Mueller Incorporated. They're uh, manufacturing one of their main, many manufacturing facilities for metal buildings and they cover Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, Arizona, uh, down, de definitely down in the southwest if you've got a building they're definitely going to be one of the places to go so they've been kind enough to let us go on a tour so come along. So our tour started with a introduction and a overview of Mueller by Raymond Superset, Rayom Superset our uh, host for the visit and president of the company. Rayon went through everything that it takes to make a Mueller building from the design, concept, fabrication, a lot of the planning, manufacturing planning, and whatnot. In addition, he brought us through the facility to show us all the different machines that fabricate the different beams and all that. Quite a bit of robotics or computer controlled machinery, probably not so much robotics, but definitely computer controlled machinery with regards to doing punching, shearing, drilling, marking, and things of that nature. So we were able to get really a good look to see how our parts were actually fabricated. The building itself is designed in 3D CAD, and as a result, the accuracy of the model determines the accuracy of the building. So the models are assembled digitally and then the building is built to those pieces. A lot of high-tech equipment that was is being used in fabrication to show marking for subsequent welding fabrication. There's some machine welding that goes on for some of the longer beams. A lot of the longer beams are actually fabricated from coil so that makes it much more efficient. And then everything is marked and laid out and kitted for each building that goes together. So lots of little pieces that end up getting fabricated. Some are assembled on site and then others are assembled while the parts are going through the factory itself. Lots of neat things, lots of high-tech equipment. As I said, the uh, all the parts are marked as they travel sh through the shop. In addition, there's etching that goes on to show the fabricators that have to do hand welding where the parts go. So this eliminates a lot of misfit parts or having to do modification on site as you're assembling the building. In addition, every part that goes through the shop has a digital traveler of some sort that tells what the processes are needing to be done as it goes through, what job it goes to, what customer, and all that. Everything is then final inspected Following the final inspection the, uh, of the fabrication, then the parts are dipped in the uh, red oxide primer. Uh, and again, they're very, all the fabricated parts are, have a healthy coating of uh, 
the red oxide primer, so it will last for quite a while. Following that, we want to wear the girts and purlins. Purlins and girts are kind of the same thing. Girts are on walls, purlins are on the roof, and that's about all I know about metal buildings. So we went through that area there. Those parts come out of coil, and then they're fabricated, whether it's a Z-purlin or a C-purlin or whatnot, it's fabricated by the job as the machine is build, building the uh, orders up coming out of production control. In addition, the parts are all identified with laser marking on them, and then the job and batch is all identified so that all that can be assembled and packed for your building to go on site. Then the R panel is rolled also is it at this facility. There is rolling of R panel at some of the remote Mueller facilities, but your job would have all of the R panel rolled, packed, and put together, wrapped, and uh, set up for being dropped at your site. In addition to all the advisement as to how to properly store that while you're building your building. You can see here several jobs, numerous jobs being set up to go out for customers. Mueller builds about 21 buildings a day, which is hard to believe. In a typical building, there is no such thing. It could be anything from a small building like ours to a large building, a very large hangar or stable or shop, things of that nature. Again, all of the parts are marked with man-readable items, and some of them are while the parts are in process, others are while they are finished parts and batching. Lots of modern machinery, a lot of computer-controlled machinery. Most importantly is to keep people from getting hurt and to produce accurate parts that fit first time, no problem. This really does keep your fitment issues on site to a minimum. Mueller goes through about 250 tons of steel a day. Uh, just to give you an idea of how much steel they go through at this facility, quite a bit. And that's just in the art panel area, so pretty, pretty amazing. Heel maintains about a 90 million fasteners for supporting their kits or buildings that are going out. In addition, they ship about 1,200 tons a day in steel, and then also ship about 21 buildings a day. And every truck, every building is pretty much unique. Well, that was pretty cool. We had a uh, heck of a tour, really neat. Uh, Rayom Superset, I think I said that right. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. Uh, president of the company gave us a walk around through the shop, showed us all sorts of cool stuff. So. If you have any interest, any questions, get a hold of Mueller Buildings. Again, they're uh, all over the Southwest. Um, lots of lots of great folks, a lot of real cool things. Amazing to see the accuracy these buildings are built to. So if you have any questions, definitely get a hold of them. We'll put your contact info down below. And uh, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and notify, and all that stuff. And we'll see you next time. It's Bill for the Hangar Rats, out.